Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a kit shop in my current bedroom condition. Now kit shops are used for TPDPs or Skyden or if you just want to have kits in your world that players can buy and purchase with their money. Um, so today that's what I'm going to be showing you. And yeah, it's really freaking easy. And yeah, just a few commands right there. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right, in, right into the video. So the first thing you're going to do is, this is optional, but you can make a little wall that will display what's inside the kit. Like I have like some just some items here. Um, and you, this is totally optional. You can just show them what's inside the kit. Uh, it's pretty cool to have, but uh, you can do other ways if you want to. Um, now to actually make the kit, you're going to want a structure block. So to do that, I'm going to do get s or command block, structure block, just like that. Then you want to place it down, and you're going to change all of these to 1. Just change all of these to 1. Just like that. All of the ones that have numbers in them, uh, change them to 1, but these two offsets, the zeros, keep those at 0. And it'll make a little box right above the structure block. Now you can grab any shoulder box of your choice, just like I have right here. And then you want to put your items in it. So I'm just going to grab some random stuff. You can put it however you want. I'm just going to put them in here. You can do it however you want, but uh, I'm just going to do it like this. So once you have your kit, you're going to save it right here. You just want to call it kit, and you can save it. And then to actually load the structure block, you're going to do execute at at p run structure load kit, and then these things, and then it loads the kit. Now to actually like get the kit in the form, I'll show you how the actual thing works. Um, you gotta it requires five hundred money. So, 500. And once I click this button, it'll say, minus $500, the purchase was successfully completed. And it gives me the kit right here with all the enchants and stuff. Just like it shows on the wall here. And uh, this is the kit that I'm using. I just named it over kit, like this. So the first command for this is you're going to want to test if the player has 500 money. Like it says on the side here. Now this can be any number you want, um, any number until the max limit, which is the integer limit, and then it's going to remove the money, so it tests the money at 500, and then it removes the money, and your scoreboard should look something like this, scoreboard objectives add, and then like tokens dummy, I'm using money dummy, um, just like that, and then this is what's actually loading it, and if you're, you have to do execute because you have to run the command at the player, like I did, like if you just ran it, it'd load the structure above the command block, that's why I have to use execute at the closest player, and I have these because it's a, it's two words, so if you want two words, if your structure is using two words, you just want to do um, commas like this. <clears throat> and uh, you can do like, for instance, like super OP kit. As long as you have like a space in between your words, you just want to do like uh, the little floating things here. And then you can do these things, which will just load it. And it's not structured because, yeah. Um, these two are not required, but it's just the message, which is just, yep, she, it's just a tatara or tatara command, which you saw right here. Um, and then the play sound, just play sound, random, blah blah blah, and it's that play sound. Um, so yeah, I'll do it again. Just one players, sad and us money, a hundred. It loads the structure, and yeah, and this one right here I forgot to mention. Um, it's, you're executing at the player too, um, and it, this is what destroys the block, 
and sets it as air, but then it gives you the shulker box. So I'll put all these commands in the description down below and with the command block types and stuff too. Um, yeah, they'll be in the description so you can just copy and paste them or you can just pause the video whenever you want to copy these. And um, yeah, that's it. And that's how you make kits in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.